Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary, and happy Monday. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're looking at Psalm 91, and Psalm 91 is a declaration of trust. I trust in God. He is my refuge, my fortress. He will protect me. Listen to the first couple of verses. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Hey, see, he's, he says, I trust God. And I pray today that you trust God more and more and that as you do, you'll have less and less fear. But I, I want to reference and look at real, real briefly verses 11 and 12, because I think you probably heard these before. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. Does that sound familiar to you at all? Uh, I mean, I hope so because it's quoted in Matthew chapter 4, uh, but it's quoted by Satan. You know, when, in the temptation of Jesus, uh, Satan takes Jesus to the highest point of the temple and says, cast yourself off of here because, you know, he's given his angels charge concerning you that they're going to protect you and not even let your foot uh, dash against a stone. And, and, and I share that with you because it's fascinating to me to read scripture and go, wow, Satan tried to use the Bible to tempt Jesus. And that means that you and I are in a spiritual battle every single day with an enemy who knows the scriptures. He's aware of them and, and he will use them and manipulate them and deceive you and me unless we are constantly reading, studying, learning and submitting ourselves to the wisdom of God. Uh, case in point, if you didn't know this, I hope it doesn't ruin your day, but Calvary is affiliated with the Southern Baptist Convention. Uh, the Southern Baptist Convention was founded in 1845 to protect the rights of slave owners as missionaries. Now, we were, we were founded as a convention to protect slavery. Now, that's, that's abhorrent, that's terrible. Uh, it's been repudiated. We've you know, repented and confessed as a convention multiple, multiple times. In fact, the fastest growing segment of churches in the Southern Baptist Convention is in, among ethnic churches. So, uh, all that said, I've read the arguments from Scripture from pastors and theologians from the 1840s defending slavery founders of uh, my seminary, Southern Seminary. And, and it, was, it was terrible. It was awful to read those and to see the error of their ways because they had bought into the lies of Satan that they were trying to protect their culture rather than submit to the Word of God. It, it happened to not just individuals, but groups. So uh, they were deceived. You know what that means? That means that we can be deceived. So please keep reading the Bible, keep learning scriptures, keep studying, but keep listening to the Holy Spirit. And if you ever find yourself using scripture to try to protect your viewpoints, uh, double check your motives, because that may not be God that's fueling those thoughts. Uh, just an observation and just an encouragement for you to read and apply God's word, because if you do that, God will change your life. God bless and have a great, great day.